Have you ever considered creating a family bank for the benefit of your descendants? Now, I do not mean the establishing of another chartered bank in the United States or anywhere else for that matter. What I'm talking about is creating an immediate, predetermined, enhanced estate at your death for the benefit of your posterity. The concept of forming such a family bank could be for the benefit of your grandchildren so that they can receive a good education and thereby have more opportunities in the increasing competitive workforce for a special needs child or grandchild to receive necessary care outside the bounds of any provided by government medical aid or assistance, for a generational family retirement income account to help children, grandchildren, and beyond weather the financial storms they'll encounter in the future, or for any other future family wants, needs, or considerations. Now, if the concept of forming such a family bank is of interest to you, to make sure such noteworthy endeavors come to pass, you would first want to establish an exact sum of money, all of which would be available within weeks of your death, whenever that might occur. Many people have discovered that the most favorable guaranteed way of carrying out such an objective is to use life insurance as the funding vehicle. Here are a few examples of people who funded their own family bank using life insurance. At age 80, a female cancer survivor began redistributing $10,000 each year from her IRA required minimum distribution to pay for a $200,000 life insurance policy, which will be deposited into her family bank at her death and then be made available to her four grandchildren under the provisions she has made in her family bank document. A married couple, when they were both age 72, began gifting a total of $26,000 a year to their two daughters to pay for a $1,500,000 joint policy, which will be deposited into their family bank upon the second death of the two of them to be used for the grandchildren's education. And here's one where 10 family members each began receiving an annual gift of $13,000 from their father when he turned age 70, totaling $130,000 a year, which they then utilized to pay for a $5 million life insurance policy on him, which at his death will be deposited into their family bank. Now, properly following the annual gift giving guidelines of the Eternal Revenue Code, there are no taxes to anyone in these three examples, not the gifted money, nor on the significantly enhanced life insurance proceeds, which will ultimately fund each respective family bank. One caution, to be certain that the entire enhanced life insurance death benefit will be available at the death of the creator of the family bank, never consider policies that are tied to the securities market for funding a family bank. These are real examples you've just looked at. Dollar amounts can be adjusted to accomplish your wishes. Consequently, if you're interested in gathering more personalized information about how this concept might work for your family, contact us without cost or obligation.